Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with HTTP4S. Our viewer, Saad, is facing a challenge with request timeouts when connecting to a backend database that takes a bit longer to respond. He wants to know if there's a way to increase the request timeout in HTTP4S. Let's dive into this topic and explore how we can address this issue effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To increase the request timeout in HTTP4S, we first need to understand how the timeout is configured. By default, HTTP4S has a timeout setting that can be adjusted. You can set the timeout by using the Request Timeout middleware. This middleware allows you to specify a custom timeout duration for your requests. Here's how you can implement it in your code. Wrap your service with the Request Timeout middleware and specify the desired timeout duration. Make sure to import the necessary libraries for handling timeouts. You will need to import scala.concurrent.durational score for the duration settings. Finally, test your application to ensure that the new timeout setting is effective. Monitor the responses to verify that requests are no longer timing out prematurely. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To increase the request timeout in HTTP4S, you can adjust the server timeouts using Blaze Builder. The default idle timeout is set to 30 seconds. You can modify the default settings by using the copy method. For example, to set the idle timeout to 5 minutes, you would use blazebuilder.copy idle timeout equals 5 dot minutes. For client timeouts, Blaze Client Config is used. The default idle timeout is 60 seconds, and request timeout is set to infinite. You can create a custom client configuration by copying the default config and adjusting the idle timeout. For instance, set it to 5 minutes using pooled HTTP1 client. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.